Hi, this is Vanessa with Designs by Vanessa. Today we are working on a crochet coffee cozy, or you can use a coffee mug or whatever you'd like. Um, we are making one similar to this. Um, it'll be the photo that you saw in the beginning of the video. This one is the same, except it's um, not as wide as the one we will be making, and it's easily adjustable. So for your materials, you'll need a cup or, or a mug or whatever you're making the cozy for. And you need worsted weight yarn. This is Lion Brands Feels Like Butter. It's a category four, and you don't need that much. I'm using a 4.5 crochet hook. This is Clover Brand. And some scissors, and you'll need a tapestry needle and a stitch marker because we are working in the round. I don't have one here. So let's get started. You want to start with a slip knot, okay? So you want to chain any even number of stitches that will go around your cup or your mug um, when you stretch it out because every fiber is different and it may stretch more or less than mine. Um, I'm chaining 38. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this around. I have 36 chain stitches. Um, it's really tight, so I'll go ahead and continue with my 38. So that was 36, and I'm going to chain two more so that I can have an even number of stitches. So 38. Now you wanna run your finger through your chain stitches to make sure it's not twisted, and you wanna slip stitch to the first chain stitch to join, and then we'll work in a continuous round. Okay. So now for round one, chain one, and then one single crochet into the same stitch, okay? So this is where you would place your stitch marker right in the first single crochet. You can use a piece of scrap yarn or anything you have on hand. Okay, so now you just want to work one single crochet into every chain stitch all the way around. Okay, so I did find a piece of scrap yarn and uh, placed it on my first single crochet here. So now you want to work in a continuous round. So your first stitch for round two is going to be worked right into that very first stitch. Okay, so one single crochet. And then let me grab the scrap yarn here and I'm just going to place that in the first single crochet I just worked um, to mark the beginning of my round. Okay, so now you just want to work one single crochet into every stitch all the way around for five rounds. Okay, so this is round two. And then you will work one single crochet all the way around for a total of five rounds. And I'm really sorry about the lighting. Um, I didn't realize the sun had um, been covered by the cloud and I didn't get to adjust my lighting on my camera. So go ahead and work one single crochet all the way around for a, a total of five rounds and you wanna work in a continuous round. Okay, so I did find a stitch marker. Um, I So I'm done with round five. So you can go um, more rounds if you want it wider because the very first one that I made, um, I've only, I only worked three rounds and it was too narrow for me. Okay, so now you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and we are ready to start 
round six. So you want to chain three, and this counts as your first double crochet. And you want to work a double crochet to the right of those chain stitches. So to the stitch on the right of the chain three. So we're crossing the double crochet stitches. Okay, and the repeat is skip one stitch and then you want to work a double crochet into the next okay so one double crochet and then you want to work one double crochet into the skipped stitch so go back to the stitch that you skipped and work a double crochet okay again repeat skip one work one double crochet into the next and then you want to work a double crochet into the stitch that you skipped okay so we're working two double crochets crossed each other that's why we skip one stitch work the next one and then go back and work the skip stitch okay so skip one one double crochet into the next and then one double crochet into the skipped stitch. So repeat that all the way around. All right, so I'm at the last two stitches, working my last set of crossed um, double crochet stitches. Now you're not going to slip stitch to join. You're going to work round seven right into the third chain from the chain three. So work your first single crochet into the third chain. So that's the first stitch of your round seven and then you just want to work one single crochet into every stitch all the way around so we want to make sure that we match the other side so you won't um, slip stitch to join at the end of this round okay so we have five rounds on the bottom we're going to work five rounds on the top okay so I'm at the end of round seven Again, you're not going to slip stitch to join. You're just going to start round eight by working right into the very first stitch and then just continue working in a continuous round. Move your stitch marker and place it in your first stitch as you um, reach the end just to mark your spot if you need. And just continue all the way through round 11. Alright, so I'm done with my five rounds on this side. So all the way to round 11. You want to slip stitch to the next stitch to join. Now you're just going to fasten off. So cut your yarn, leaving a tail. And then you just want to pull your yarn through and grab your tapestry needle and then run the tail through the eye of the needle. And then you're just gonna weave it in on the inside of the cup cozy. Okay, so now you want to make sure that you weave in your beginning tail as well.
All right, so now that we're done weaving in our ends, we can uh, flip it with the right side out and you're done. Okay, so this is, this is the size that I like. Um, this is the first one that I made. Um, I was just winging it and it ended up being smaller than I want. So this, um, let me tighten this so it doesn't fall off. So let's put this on. Okay, it's a little snug, but I know it's going to stretch over time. Um, so I don't want to make it too loose because I don't want it to end up way at the top. Okay, this cozy is very easy to customize. Um, you can even use a different weight yarn with the recommended hook size from the label. Um, all you need to do is make sure that you have an even number of stitches and then your single crochet rounds match the top. So I have five here and five up here. And then my middle round is the double crochet um, cross stitches and you can even alternate the single crochet and the double crochet um, rounds for each round every other round or whatever you like um, so it's really really easy to customize okay thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe